Douglas Wilder of Virginia becomes the nation's first African-American governor. Douglas Wilder, the first African-American to be elected governor of an American state, takes office as governor of Virginia on January 13, 1990. Wilder broke a number of color barriers in Virginia politics and remains an enduring and controversial figure in the state's political scene. Born in 1931, in Church Hill a poor and segregated neighborhood of Richmond, Wilder is the grandson of slaves and is named for Frederick Douglass. He grew up in the Jim Crow era, graduating from Richmond's Virginia Union University in 1951. Wilder fought in the Korean War, earning the Bronze Star, before studying law at Howard University and returning to Richmond to practice. Wilder entered politics by way of a special election to the state Senate in 1969 becoming the state's first African-American state senator since Reconstruction. A Democrat, he developed a reputation for taking on other members of his party. In 1982, he threatened to run for Senate as an independent after the presumptive Democratic nominee gave a speech praising the Byrd organization, the powerful and formerly pro-segregation political machine that had long dominated the Virginia Democratic Party. In 1986, Wilder became the first African American to win a statewide election in Virginia when he was elected lieutenant governor. Four years later, in an extremely narrow race that triggered an automatic recount, he was elected governor. Some political scientists have speculated that the race was unexpectedly close due to the Bradley effect, the effect on polls of racist voters lying about their willingness to vote for non-white candidates. Though Republicans had painted him as a liberal due to his pro-choice stance on abortion, Wilder governed as a tough-on-crime centrist, bills aimed at reducing crime and gun violence, as well as infrastructure spending in the rapidly expanding suburbs of Northern Virginia, were hallmarks of his tenure. Wilder also divested all state institutions from the apartheid government of South Africa, making it the first southern state to do so. Virginia law prohibits governors from running for re-election, but Wilder remained active in state politics. In the 2000s, he was one of the leaders of a movement to directly elect the mayor of Richmond, at the time, the city council chose one of its members to serve as mayor. In 2003, an overwhelming majority of Richmonders approved the direct election measure, and Wilder was elected mayor the following year with 79% of the vote. Wilder supported then-Senator Barack Obama's first run for president, although he declined to endorse him in 2012. Since leaving office in 2008, Wilder has taught at Virginia Commonwealth University's School of Public Affairs, which is named for him, and has worked to establish museums and memorials in remembrance of slavery.